What's up? -er? Welcome to Up With A Deep Head. Uh, here playing Baden at a two tag climax. All right. Um, got my partner who is already online. Actually about to send her an invite now. And hopefully she gets it and then we uh, can get in some tag climax. So my goal is to get to the S plus rank or the S plat or whatever they call it. And so, um, so I found a series of battles that work best for me, which is um, you do two star Aesir, two star um, Masked Lumen inside the demon's belly. Um, then you do uh, I forget the name of the giant one with the sword. Um, but yeah, you do him the, the water fight. Um, and then after you do the water fight, then um, you do either. Well, I prefer uh, the dogs, three star dogs. And then um, after three star dogs, you do uh, what is it? Uh, Gamora, uh, Dragon, three star, and then after that you do um, um, Alarune on three star. Yes, and so um, Rosa's extremely OP for this. Unfortunately, she dies in like. A, a breath like all somebody has to do is just breathe on her wrong and she perishes so what's really important is that I have a good partner for this all right let's do this two star ace here as you can see clear at 99 <laughs> yeah so three star is suicide we're not doing that <laughs> Oh, she got Rosie too. All right, so, um, so the thing about Rosa is that she's extremely OP. Uh, her double jump, this is stupid. As you can see, I took one hit and took another hit, and I got. Um, I lost by a fraction but yeah yeah that's pretty much it like jump kick combo in the air and she and, and it puts in work on human size opponents for bigger um we're going to use her umbrian climax which is the giant armor it destroys health bars <laughs> but typically on large opponents. Uh, small opponents, they just tend to evade. It doesn't do the damage you really want it to do. Yeah, um, I like Rosa as opposed to Bayo Takamikazushi, uh, the giant hammer. That's good. Okay. So, Nas Lumen is, is kind of special in this case. So he's set to Yeah, he's set to auto evade or, or evade multiple hits. So luckily this also triggers his evade and still keeps a barrier around us. Yeah, she is like extremely OP. She's just a really terrible glass cannon. Alright, what's his name? Valor. All right, so you do three-star Valor. So with lag, this is one of the worst fights. Well, most of the fights in here are really bad with lag. 
So, just so you know how lag works in this game, it kind of works in like rollback, but the rollback is pretty bad. So enemies will often do an attack, and then you'll see what looks like a cancel. So you'll often see what looks like a cancel. And Whoops. Oh. You got that tag version. Then see this right here? This is why this fight is so terrifying. So the other thing about um, to tag climax to note is that if one person evades. Uh, you don't both or you use. Yeah, so um, the hitbox will still be active for you. Like that. So she got the hit, uh, she got the witch time, but because she witch time first. Yeah, it's really difficult for me to like concentrate and try to keep up my score. <laughs> uh, but she's doing great actually. But yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can see, like the the jumping is exactly why this is really bad. Yeah, three star dogs. Go on. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so, um, Valor was pretty much spent up of us building up our bar, and now, I'm going to use it. So, watch how the health melts away. Take the safe route here and uh, just back her up with shots because because of the lag um, he could easily just cancel into a another attack that while I'm dodging he'll like stop an attack and do another one and it's really really hard to just react to that off off the bat so here we do another three star three star Gamora three star Gamora is pretty simple uh, you do three star Gamora, get in, get out. It's like a smash and grab. Um, you just gotta make sure the, the the really big thing is that you avoid the opening attack. If you avoid the opening attack, then nine times out of ten you pretty much have it. It's like the opening attack on a fireball, I think. That. So see, because I dodged it. She doesn't get the wish turn. So now we go to the last one, which is three star out of room, and it becomes cakewalk because of Rosa's OP miss. So once again, Umbrella Armor, 
and destroy your opponents. You know, so since I already know how this battle is going to go, um, I got a question. Um, so for those that do have Bayonetta 2 and really like Tag Climax, um, um, one, um, I would like to say that I am open to play Tag Climax at any time. I really like Tag Climax. Um, I'm a co-op gamer. I really like co-op games, uh, team-based games. Um, also, um, I would like to know um, your thoughts. How, what, what do you feel about, you know, Tag Climax? Who is your favorite character? Uh, who, who do you like to use? You know, you like Sean. Um, you like, uh, uh, you like Balder and his magic castingness. Uh, you like O.K. Rosa. Uh, like I said, like one of my combinations before this was, uh, was, uh, was Bayonetta and, um, was Bayonetta with Takamikazushi and, um, on the feed, I believe I had the Chain Chomps. Uh, Chain Chomp does residual damage over time. And then the other thing is, is how many points did I get? Yeah, 850. So um, as you can see, I am probably roughly a third of the way there. Um, I'm getting up there slowly yet surely, but you know we're gonna make it there eventually. But yeah, um, so so yeah, let me know. You know, leave it in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts as to you know who you like to play as. In fact, if you like to play Tag Climax, let me know. I will play. You know, I really love Tag Climax. Um, in fact, I was extra. I was uh, extremely hyped when Bayonetta got put in the Smash. I was one of the people telling my friends like, "Yeah, put Bayonetta into the Smash boat," and they were like, "Oh no, there's no possible way." Oh, what am I doing? I forgot how to fight this fight already. So, that's the property of broken hitboxes. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So, so, yeah. Besides that mishap, let me know your thoughts. Let, let me know how you feel about, you know, Tag Climax, Bayonetta. You know, you want to play? We can play. You know, um, my gamer tag is... Um, my, my Nintendo ID is Lord Darksiders. Uh, um, I'll leave it into the comment section below. Um, but you can find me by the Phenom one. Um, I'm on that and same thing on 3DS and stuff. So you like getting in, oh, what am I doing? I'm messing up. Uh, yeah, I like getting in games on both, so. You're an avid gamer looking for the people to play with, but yeah. This is just more of the same stuff. So typically I just grind this out. Um, I'll probably do something different um, for the purposes of this. Yep. And then that plus under experience. And then your partner witch times. You get free grabs. All right, so I didn't die, but that was gonna be um, gonna be a terrible country. matchup. <sighs> so yeah, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, I'll probably play play some more Bayonetta Tag Climax. Probably play off with like different weapons and everything, and see how that goes. Uh, you know, try something funky like uh, like. Uh, I like the Kafkas. I also used to use the Kafkas. Um, I used to play, you know, when I used to play with people, I would play support. So I would use the Kafkas along with the Chainsaw, um, the, sh not Shirabas, the, um, I can't remember, the, are, are the Chainsaw Blades on the feet. So he's gonna dodge. So yeah, and this is what this battle turns into.
Kingdom Hearts rehash. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. They use the Umbrian Crow in the first two, they help drum up a majority of the points. And then you go to your batteries, which is either Valor or Gamora. I, I like Valor first because he's actually the, um, with lag, he can destroy you. But um, I like to get him out the way that way because when, once he's out the way and I have a good amount of um, Umbrian Climax built, then pretty much it just secures the rest of the way. It's just pretty much like at that point it's just put it into my pocket. So one of us got it. So this, so you kind of don't want that to happen. Uh, let me back up just in case. Um, so yeah. So the other, so the reason why you don't want, speak that. Yep, I thought such a one. Um, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's really dangerous for for that reason alone. So if she dodges, I can't get witch time. Or or rather I can get witch time, but when it comes out of witch time, I will immediately get hit by whatever hitbox is there. You know, it's funny because that actually translates to Smash Bros. And that's not what you want. So, so, so yeah. Typically, whenever, whenever one of us gets a wish time, unless I am absolutely sure I got it, then I would just back off and just go straight to support. Was a tragic mistake. Almost cost us a run. All right, three star Gamora, and then after this, uh, let's see here, finish, yeah, finish this run on out. that right there. So now due to this, I don't know if I'll be able to build up. Okay, well I got a bar, that's all I need. Yep. All right. Whew. Is the um. Yeah, yeah, that got scary in there for a couple of reasons. So, as you can tell, it started lagging really, really bad. And Gamora was like, "Don't know which way to go. Gonna be other side, this side, flip side. Oh no, must figure it out." So, yeah. So, so yeah, as long as we both have um, have a bar, 
or have the Umbrian Climax, then the last one is pretty much in the bag. Um, I'm, a, I'm a little better at Umbrian Climax than she is. As you can tell. Alright, that was uh, got kind of dicey, but she got some good payloads. Right. One day I'm going to get a pure flat in all of these, and I'm just going to be ecstatic, like, I don't know what, what noise I'm going to make, but I'm going to make a noise. Yeah, so I'm gonna play with the same partner. All right, so I'm gonna call this, uh, call this video a wrap. I will see you next time on Bayonetta Tag Climax with Up on a D-Pad.